Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a record-breaking day in India's parliament. 78 MPs from the opposition were suspended today for raising slogans and asking for the Home Minister to come to parliament and brief the House on the security breach. That now takes the total number of MPs suspended this session alone to 92. 14, as you know, were suspended on Friday. So here's the breakup for today. Today, 33 opposition members, including Congress floor leader Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary, were suspended from the Lok Sabha for showing placards. In the Rajya Sabha, the count was 34. This included senior Congress MP Jairam Ramesh and Randeep Sojewala. Manoj Jha from the RJD also was suspended. Not just that, 11 more MPs from the Rajya Sabha have been suspended and their case has been sent to the Privileges Committee. The last time we saw so many MPs suspended was in 1989, when 63 MPs were suspended during Rajiv Gandhi's government. There was an uproar after an inquiry report on the assassination of Prime Minister Indira Gandhi that was tabled in the Lok Sabha. But 2023, ladies and gentlemen, has beaten 1989 hands down. 92 MPs suspended and counting. This is not appropriate. I am in deep pain. An announcement by the chair is not being received. Where are we heading? My fervent pleas that leader of the opposition see me in my chamber. The stance is, I shall not. This is not democratic principles. These are not democratic values. No, no, leader of the opposition, no. I have, I have respect for you, but, but what you have done is an insult to the office I hold. Honorable members, I plead with you, in the name of our founding fathers, we are here to help our people at large. Those who are shouting, those who are not participating, those who are getting away from their constitutional duties are doing great injustice to half of humanity. We can't even contribute to the welfare of our mothers and sisters. Honorable members, what we are doing today is not expected of the upper house, the house of elders. I am in a helpless situation. I hope the leader of the opposition will see me in my chamber. लेकिन यहाँ लगता है कि टीवी में बोलना, बाहर बोलना ये सरकार को और सत्तरुर पार्टी के लोगों को चाहे वो पीएम हो, एचएम हो जो भी हो, उनको आसान लगते हैं, सहज लगते हैं, लेकिन सदन में आकर खारे होकर कुछ बोलने में वो डरते हैं। इसलिए उनको ये लगा कि बहुमत की बाहुबली को डंडा घुमा के सब को ठंडा कर देंगे, विपक्ष की जुबान को बंद कर देंगे। इसलिए वो ये करके दिखाया। देश आज साफ़ साफ़ देख रहा है कि पार्लियामेंट के अंदर कैसे बुलडोज़र चलाया जा रहा है। ये कुछ नहीं है, ये विरोधियों को रोंगने का ये एक प्रक्रिया है, विरोधियों को कुचलने का एक प्रक्रिया है, और सिर्फ अमित एक बुलडोजर चला रहे हैं सदन को भंग करने के पार्लियामेंट प्रक्रिया को भंग करने के लिए संविधान और लोकतंत्र को तोड़ने के उद्देश्य से हैं सदन चलाने की मंशा उनकी नहीं है सदन नष्ट करने की उद्देश्य और मंशा से वो आज सत्ता में आए हैं and moreover, they, they, want, they want to uh, keep uh, this uh, like, slate before uh, uh, so I come tomorrow for the three days. So your demand was to call HM and Prime Minister inside the house to give an no, statement? No, no, but they, they went on record in, uh, saying uh, on this character issue outside.
the parliament. When they gone, gone and gone and outside the parliament, it is not proper to say anything outside the parliament, parliament inside them. Now uh, they, we want want them to come inside and uh, respond to all. So now when sir, 33 MPs are suspended, what will be the action from here on from the of the opposition parties? We have been suspended, we cannot go in, but the other people who are inside, they will revolt. Are we talking about India's parliament or are we talking about kindergarten schools where children are told to stand up and sit down and put their finger on the lips and not utter a word and put their heads down? This is India's parliament and the people who are raising their voices there represent large sections of India's population. They represent large sections of India's there. They are elected representatives. I think Mr. Modi should stop making a mockery of democracy. He should put, a, put the parliament under lock and key. In any case, he doesn't like to speak in parliament. He likes to speak in even events and newspapers and things like that. I think Mr. Modi has to assess what is democracy. And in a democracy, if elected MPs cannot make their voices be heard in India's parliament, then what is the other avenue which should hear them? Today, Mandiya Lok Sabha Adhyaksh ko 33 Mandiya Sansado ko suspend karna pada is session ke akhri din tak और राज्यसभा में मान्य 34 सांसदों को सस्पेंड करना पड़ा इस सेशन के आखिरी दिन तक और 11 अन्य सांसदों को सस्पेंड करना पड़ा कुल मिलाके 45 मान्य सदस्यों को राज्यसभा में आज सस्पेंड करने का बड़ा ही दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण आज उनके व्यवहार के कारण ये स्थिति उपलब्ध हुई मैं समझता हूं ये उनकी प्री प्लान स्ट्रेटजी थी Let me go uh, straight across to someone who was suspended in parliament today. Mr. K. Suresh is a long-serving MP of the Congress party. Sir, can I ask you what exactly happened today? The opposition member's suspension is today also uh, continued. Uh, you know, the, uh, last week, uh, 14 opposition members were suspended. Today, also 33 members were suspended. Total 47 members, uh, uh, if I am correct, 47 members were suspended from the opposition parties in Lok Sabha. The issue is, we demanded, the entire opposition demanded to Home Minister came to Lok Sabha and make a statement uh, with uh, regard to the Pal uh, Lok Sabha incidents. But Prime Minister uh, also not coming to the House, uh, even uh, Home Minister also not coming to the House. Only Speaker has given an explanation. We are not satisfied uh, Speaker explanation about the incidents. But at the same time, this is the serious security lapses in the, uh, in the Parliament. Not only in the parliament, in the uh, parliament, outside the parliament also. The conspiracy was then uh, the other state also, Haryana, out of Delhi also. Even in Haryana, Gurgaon and other places also, this consp conspiracy was uh, done. So, we are demanding that uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, security lapses and also some, uh, some youth, uh, young, okay. youngsters, inside the house and they created a power, disturbed the house and also they uh, yellow uh, uh, smoke uh, spread in the house this is not in the parliament premises issue this is not in in the purview of the speaker Lok Sabha speaker this uh, inside the bjp mb was issued the pass of these two youngsters to uh, come in the okay. Lok Sabha so okay. that's why our demand is very genuine uh, and also, we want to uh, convince from the government. Uh, uh, we, uh, the, that's why we are demanding for the detailed statement from the Home Minister. But Home Minister did not come to the House. They are not ready okay. to give a statement about the uh, incident. Only Speaker has given his explanation. We are not satisfied. That's why today also we uh, okay. brought a placards and a shouting slogan against the uh, government. We demand for... We demand for our minister immediately come to the house and make a okay. statement. Okay, I understand what you're saying, but here's the question that 
uh, needs to be asked right now as well. You have been on the speaker's chair, Mr. Suresh. And fact is, in fact, you were on the chief, uh, speaker's chair when Mr. Biduri said what he said. What option does the speaker really have if members of the house are shouting slogans and carrying placards and not letting the house functions? If they don't suspend you, what will they do? It is not correct, ma'am. Uh, means our ag agitation was very peaceful. Inside the Lok Sabha, our agitation was very peaceful. And also we just uh, show the placard and shouting slogan uh, in front of the, uh, in the, in the way. Not, we never ended in the speaker uh, uh, speaker chair or speaker uh, chair area. But at the same time, the panel chairman, Sri Rajendra Agarwal, trying to pass the uh, important bill, post office amendment bill, without participation of the opposition members, without participation of entire opposition is in the bill, and shouting slogan against the, uh, against the Home Minister and the government. So they are... Uh, they are huh. trying to, the panel chairman, the government has given direction and the speaker also dire directed to panel chairman Dajendra Agarwal to pass the bill, uh, uh, post office amendment bill. That's why okay. some of our members, uh, seriously, we want to uh, 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 stop the passing of post office amendment bill because we are not, pa we are uh, um, uh, moved so okay. many amends, amendments in the a post office uh, amendment bill and also our members wants to participate in the debate okay. but without the only uh, without the opposition party members uh, participation and also our uh, amendment also not considered in the uh, before passing the uh, um, bill so they are arbitrarily uh, they are going to uh, pass the bill that's why some of our members uh, ended in the speaker okay. uh, area speaker okay. chair area they never disturbance or they, they never uh, any any blockade in the speaker chair but at the same time they ended the, you know the speaker chair is very la long uh, uh, chair. speaker sitting floor is very long that is they never go to the speaker chair but at the same time, the, the members uh, were sitting there. They just uh, two, three steps. They uh, gone to uh, speak on the way to speaker chair. Uh, never, they never go to speaker chair, near chair. Or just uh, just okay. a chamber to okay. uh, two, three steps. They entered in the speaker chamber. That's a speaker uh, sit, uh, sit, uh, chair area. That is only we have done. Okay. No, no. The BJP is saying, sir, that the BJP is saying, sir, essentially that the opposition is trying to politicize the matter of national security. This is a moment that India's parliament should be together. Instead, the opposition only wants to play, play politics. Why don't you come, uh, Home Minister, come to the house? Why don't the Prime Minister yesterday uh, 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 spoken one uh, channel, channel or media, one uh, media? Uh, it is very unfortunate. Country was shocked. Why don't Prime Minister come to say in the house? Why don't you, uh, Home Minister, come to the house and say this? Whatever government uh, government uh, views. Why don't they come to the house and uh, sit there? But they are not uh, Prime Minister after the incidents happened there. Uh, but so far, Prime Minister is not come to the house. The Wednesday it was happened. Thursday, Friday, uh, not uh, Prime Minister was not there. And also, this uh, Home Minister was also not uh, came to, uh, come to the house. And today, also Prime Minister or Home, uh, Home Minister not come to the house. That means they are they are ignoring the opposition okay. party's demand. At least they should come to the house. Okay. So, uh, tell the okay. truth. And also, they they have to give a assurance to the house. It was uh, whatever happened is happened. We uh, so we will examine it, and also we will done high level inquiry for this incident. In future, we will uh, take all the precautions okay. to uh, protect the parliament and members of parliament. All right, Mr. K. Suresh, thank you very much for joining us. Mr. K. Suresh, one of the 78 opposition MPs who were suspended from parliament today, taking the total number now to 92 this session. As I said, that's a record, Mr. Suresh. Thank you very much.
My guest this evening, Pradeep Mahod, leader of the BJP, advocate APS Khadial, spokesperson of the Congress Party, Kirti Azad, spokesperson of the TMC, Tehseen Punawala is a political analyst joining us on the broadcast, and JVC Shribram is a political commentator with us on the show as well. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Mr. Azad, I first want to ask you, 2023 has beaten 1989 hands down. That year, Rajiv Gandhi was the Prime Minister. 63 Lok Sabha MPs were suspended. Today, 78. What do you make of this record-breaking suspension spree in Parliament? Well, whenever BJP is in power, you find that happening. Um, I think the democracy is slowly dying in our country. Uh, I remember in 2009 when I was in the BJP and in the opposition and Meera Kumarji used to be the speaker of Lok Sabha and Hamid Ansari ji used to be the chairman in the Raj Sabha. Uh, I remember Arun Jaitley saying, the late Arun Jaitley saying that disrupting parliament is also a way to show protest against the government and its policies. Nobody was suspended. Hmm. The same happened in uh, uh, Lok Sabha. I remember... A lot of our members uh, picking up these placards, shouting slogans, standing on benches, yet nobody was. And uh, I remember, and if you remember, you reported the many a times on the 2G and the Colgate thing, and for months, the parliament never ran. For months, the monsoon session got washed out, the winter session got washed out, but never. And whenever late Arun Jaitley or late Sushma Swaraj were asked, they said, well, disrupting parliament was a way to show protest against the government and the policies. I failed to understand why wouldn't the Home Minister simply come and say it's a matter of national security? We are investigating how they got into it. Because remember, the first place where they get checked is at the outpost, is there at the Delhi police. Then you have the CRPF, then it comes to the parliament. Mm. And we are talking about after parliament. What about before they entered the parliament? So obviously the Home Minister can come and simply say, yes, there was a lapse, you're looking into the matter, since it's a matter of national security, I would request the members of parliament to have some patience and we'll come up with the report as soon as possible. That's all. The parliament would have run. Disruptions have been going on since uh, the attack took place on the 13th. Parliament, there's so much of money is being wasted, thanks to the government. I think they don't want to discuss anything in parliament because they don't have anything to answer. JVC Sridham. Please help me understand what the possible problem can be in accepting the opposition's demand that, boss, there is something serious that has happened in Parliament. And you have time to speak to the press. You have time to speak to a television channel and a newspaper. But you have not had the time or the courtesy to come to Parliament and explain to us what happened. Is there so much ego ka kya baat ho gaya hai that today 78 MPs had to be suspended because they were protesting this very thing? What how are they protesting? Can I read out what is mentioned in the Times of India app? MPs Jay Kumar mm -hmm. and uh, uh, you know uh, Basant and another person went and stood on top of the podium of the speaker. Now you are standing on top of the podium of the speaker. Mm -hmm. I think the guest you had on your uh, program, the Congress MP, did not mention that. He was giving all kind of other things. And we saw what mm -hmm. the vice president and the chairman of the house, because... See, I'm only talking about as a common man because it's my money is also involved. Now, do you know how much of money is wasted because of disruption? And I can tell you, I, I, have, the, I have the statistics with me. One minute of disruption is going to cost the citizens' money, not the Congress party's money, not the opposition's money, 2.5 lakhs. One washout session is going to cost 144 crores. And that's what is happening. Parliament? Yes. There can be an occasional disruptions, but parliament is a place for discourses, discussions, and debates. And the opposition, from time and again, yeah. from 2014, have made it as a place for disruption. And they're singing songs, they're whistling, mm. throwing. And you looked at how the vice president spoke. The vice, if somebody had listened to the, what the vice president had spoken, they would understand the depth of the problem. Mm. The depth of the problem, you see, I understand. Oh, minister should come okay. and talk. Oh, minister would come and talk. Yeah. But the investigation is going on. The prime minister would definitely talk in the parliament. Mm. But the investigation is going on. And when the investigation is going on, what do you want them to come and say? And, you know, there is a security threat. They seen this is respond to that. Threat. Absolutely no. No issues. Absolutely no issues. But what kind of security Congress party government... They seen respond to that. I will. Blast every I will. day. 
plus no, okay no, can i please can i please respond oh, to that country. respond respond yeah respond to that can you I know please? there is Thank a lakshman you. rekha that cannot be crossed in parliament and that rush, lakshman rekha has crossed when people stand on podiums they shout slogans and don't let the house function what option does the speaker have you you are making a point one understands the point you are making i even think it's a valid point but you are pushing the speaker to do what he has done today a record number of suspensions 78 tehsil yeah this is also the opposition's fault na shreya everything is the opposition's fault now we have an opposition booked parliament shreya i'll just say i'll read out three statements to you and i want your team to cross verify these statements on jan 30th 2011 the rate arun jetli said i'm quoting him obstructing parliament is in favor of democracy August 26 2012 when an entire session we just heard about money being spent in parliament an entire session winter session of parliament was washed out August 22nd August 26 2012 the late arun jetli outside parliament says we don't want the government to escape uh, through discussions we will continue to obstruct parliament mm-hmm. by all means possible while that session was still being washed out Sushma Swaraj on September 7 2012 speaking to various media groups including the Times group says not allowing parliament to function is a form of democracy Sushma Swaraj said now this is what they said when hmm. they were in in opposition let's understand what happened there was a terror attack on our parliament a terror attack the most honorable prime minister and the most honorable home minister has spoken in tv channels has spoken in newspapers why can't they address the nation through parliament if this investigation is going on how can they speak in a tv channel in a newspaper and why not in parliament point number 1 a similar a terror attack had happened on 13 december 2001 immediately after the terror attack the then home minister of india lk adwani ji from the bjp immediately addressed the nation through parliament why can't the same thing happen here I want to end Shreya by asking your viewers to understand three things. There is the broadcasters bill that is going to uh, go through because our opposition is being suspended. A lot of your viewers are youngsters or maybe even senior citizens who make a lot of reels, who post a lot of things. The government can just shut you down with this bill. It's a draconian bill by all means. They don't want opposition there to raise their voice. Point number two, Ramesh Bidhuri, who used all sorts of language that I cannot use on Shreya's show. is still sitting in parliament no actions been taken against him bridge bhushan sharan singh ji who molested women women who went to him because they wanted protein our champion athletes he groped them continues to sit in parliament i am not making this up the delhi police said that he still not arrested and opposition members who are asking the prime minister and the home minister to speak on a terror attack have been suspended one of these who was suspended was a mp who was not even in the state that day was not even in delhi that day just want your viewers to understand what is the government doing just just let's shut down opposition let's have parliament as a rubber stamp and let's run it and pass your bills and make it a pass these draconian bills do it pradeep mahor is that what the government is ultimately aiming sabko suspend kar do the number is 92 tomorrow the number will i'm sure go up shreya first of all what uh, tasun pun puna wala was saying i'm really surprised you know some of the uh, opposition mps are saying that it was an attack by innocent people who uh, had some kind of an issue they were Pradeep. unemployed whatever blah 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 Pradeep and Mahor, on the other hand gol mol gol mol baat mat ghumaiye no 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 it's, it's mr mahor gol mol baat mat ghumaiye i asked you a straight question hand, about today tasun Today, Today, no MP has said that, that innocent people attack. attacked Parliament or breached have, Parliament. First of, all, first of all, they have to decide. Ah. Either it is a terrorist attack or attack by innocent people who were, uh, you know, having problems with the policies of the government. Whatever. And uh, second thing is, they are saying that you know the, the Prime Minister can address to the people, and he cannot come to the Parliament. First of all, this issue has to be addressed by the Home Minister, not the Prime Minister. One point. Second point is. that you know uh, hmm. addressing to the people is different and discussing in the parliament is different discussing in the parliament is more of a technical nature wherein you need the complete details investigation okay. is still going on let the investigation be over why so much of desperacy why why making it a fish market standing on the podium think about it what they are doing i mean is this a democracy standing on the podium and you know uh, showing playing cards hey, and uh, i mean it's, it was it was something like i felt as if uh, it has this parliament has become a uh, you know street market what is this going on 
तो मिस्टर माहौल व्हाट इज डेमोक्रेसी व्हाट इज डेमोक्रेसी सस्पेंडिंग 92 ऑपोजिशन एमपीज बिकॉज दे वांट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड द होम मिनिस्टर टू कम टू द फ्लोर ऑफ द हाउस एंड मेक अ स्टेटमेंट ऑन इंडियाज बिगेस्ट सिक्योरिटी ब्रीच नो दैट इज डेमोक्रेसी एनी ऑफिसर अगर जस्ट रिस्पॉन्ड टू व्हाट मिस्टर माहौल इज सेइंग गिव मी अ मिनट गिव मी अ मिनट आई नो यू हैव मेड अ पॉइंट आई थिंक व्हाट यू हैव मेड इज अ वैलिड पॉइंट वन ऑफ द पॉइंट्स यू हैव मेड इज वैलिड आई लास्ट कीर्ति आजाद टू रिस्पॉन्ड टू आई मिस्टर कीर्ति आजाद वन ऑफ द पॉइंट्स दैट द बीजेपी स्पोक्स पर्सन इज मेकिंग इज देखिए भाई जनता से बात करना दूसरी बात होती है स्पीकिंग टू द मीडिया एंड स्पीकिंग टू अ न्यूज़पेपर एंड अ टेलीविजन चैनल you know the language used is uh, is simple you don't have to get into the technical details of what has happened you can just say the matter was very serious and leave it there but when you come to the floor of the house you have to be armed and equipped with every single detail of how the breach took place maybe just maybe given the fact that investigations are still underway the home minister doesn't feel he's prepared enough to come and speak on the floor of the house which is why he's not coming why create such exactly. a bakhada over it yes i do agree with you but that is what he's come to come and tell and reassure the parliamentarians what if he had a bomb and four or five of them had died had been killed by that attack now the situation is that he should come and say that there is no problem we have taken care of it we have strengthened the security outside we shall see to it that nobody is harmed the investigation mm-hmm. is on so we cannot let you know as to what has happened but we definitely will take care of you and don't worry all something like that to that tune you have to just come and say you can go and speak on private channels and other places and say well it's a national security and uh, you know it should not uh, politics should not be made out of it had he said that i think it would have been over there are so many statements in the parliament that are late every session statement by ministers are laid on the uh, table of the house many of them make a statement and that's about it about the various ministries this since this was a very special matter it was matter of national security is where he should have come and not only assured the house but assured the people of this country that we are taking full measures and we'll find out who have done it we'll see how the breach happened at the moment i don't have full details that is all what had to be said and you wouldn't have lost uh, so many days the parliament i mean it could have run but then they want to pass this draconian bills without being discussed because there are objection to all these bills the bills are being passed in such a manner which is very dictatorial and this kind of uh, intolerant attitude mm. by the government is showing the apathy it has towards the uh, towards towards the opposition and towards the country hmm. would you want to come in here aps khadiyal you are representing the spoke uh, uh, the congress party today uh, many of your senior leaders I have been shown the door as well today 92 I'll I'll come to you I'll come to you Mr Sri Ram uh, many of your senior leaders have been shown the door today as well but the BJP is saying look they are simply politicizing national security hamla if there was a breach in parliament a security breach in parliament uh, it was everyone's lives that were in danger not not just the bjp but the congress as well the tmc as well the jdu as well why politicize this when the home minister is ready to come he'll come but what the opposition is doing is pushing the government to a corner if anyone is politicizing the issue it is the bharatiya janata party if anyone is underestimating the attack on india's democracy it is the bharatiya janata party if anyone is undermining the democratic principles enshrined in the constitution in shrine in a democracy it is the bharatiya janata party by doing the unprecedented that they always do even if it's always in the wrong suspending over 90 mps 90 mps for god's sake in one session have you heard of that before and for what reason because they were demanding a detailed discussion over the attack on india's democracy a concern a question of the country of the nation because people are wondering and people are asking this question to the bjp if our mps are not safe if our representatives in the safest building in india how do we feel safe in india and if the opposition mps who are the representatives of people who are representing the voice of the constituencies some representing the voice of the states you know they are asking the simple question what does the home minister have to say about the bharatiya janata party's mp who had endorsed the individual because of whom the attack happened now the bjp mp has not been acted against opposition mps have been acted against look at the irony <laughs> of the situation and and the sad state of affairs is that there's been no inquiry there's been no suspension there's been no can- uh, cancellation of the membership of the bjp mp he has not been arrested yet there's been no fir against him nothing has been done he has not even been interrogated or investigated against not okay. even to join the investigation this is basic procedure mr shridhar you were you were chuckling okay 
Sorry? Sorry? Mr. Shriram, you were chuckling. You know, I, I, I'm just bringing in Mr. Shriram, who was chuckling. Mr. Ch yeah. uh, Shriram, you are chuckling. But fact is, uh, uh, oh, that was Mr. Azad chuckling. I beg your pardon. Yeah, I, I to dikh nahi tha. Not wearing my specs today. I, I, I too Mr. Was, Shriram, I fact was. is, uh, yeah. I, but you you wanted to say something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you too were. Yeah. So so look at yeah. look at what what uh, what the common citizen is saying. The common. One minute, one minute, Raisi. Look at what Mr. Shriram, no, the no, common sorry, citizen, no. is saying. The common citizen is seeing that there is there is one BJP MP, Mr. Pratap Simha. Uh, I don't want to vilify him because I'm sure it was not deliberate. But here is a BJP MP on whose pass these people, intruders, come into parliament and breach parliament, right? So there is a BJP MP on one side. Uh -huh. And there are opposition MPs on another side who are simply asking the Home Minister to come to the floor of the house and make a statement, hai na? Two, two situations here. Right. The BJP MP will not apologize, will not be questioned, nothing will happen to him, but 92 MPs from the opposition who are asking the government questions will be suspended. See, Matlab, from which stretch of imagination is this fair? No. I points here. The M MP's letter or the pass would be part of the investigation. And that is a very important thing. And I'm also telling that MPs normally give passes to their citizens of their particular constituency. So they should definitely be, you know, because if I, I am told that if I go I'm representing my constituency, Secunderabad or Chevala constituency, and I go to my MP and say that this is so-and-so, and I get the pass, number one. Number two, there is also an angle which we need, because once there is a security issue, if there can be external hands involved, foreign hands involved, you cannot expect the Home Minister to come and make a statement when the investigation is going on. Number three, when Mr. Tishin Punawala is talking about draconian bill, when you know pretty well that an important bill is going to be passed in the parliament, and you have made your demands that Home Minister ah, must come to true. speak, and the, uh, uh, the uh, ruling party has said, Home Minister will come and address after the inquiry is over. Now, you should know that when an important bill is passed, your behavior ought to be in such a way that there is no way that you are suspended. You are standing on the top of the podium because all these MPs who have been suspended today, their real intent was to go and attend the I.N.T.I.Alliance meeting tomorrow at Delhi. Their intent was not to be in the parliament. They want to show <laughs> up their heads and faces in that meeting which is going to, held, to, to be held tomorrow. And more importantly, like the BJP spokesperson had said, let the Congress party be clear whether it was and some people who were innocent who have been probably victimized by the government's unemployment things which they are talking about. So innocent people who entered into the parliament okay. or potential terrorists who entered into the parliament. Yeah. Let the Congress party, because Mr. Rahul Gandhi... I will ask Mr. Khadiyal this question. The rest of the opposition is talking in another voice. Let them be sure. clear. No, no. Sure. I will I will get that clarity sure. from Mr. Khadial, but for the moment, yeah. I think sure. Tessin wants to come in. Tessin, specifically on the point being made, when you know that critical crit, uh, critical bills are going to be passed in Parliament and the government wants to push them through, why create hangama and get suspended? Vese to those bills will in any case get passed because the government has brute majority. But why, you know, why invite trouble for yourself? It's a, it's a very valid point Mr. Sriram is making. I'll, I'll answer that. I'll answer that question. No hangama was created in the Rajya Sabha yeah. during the three yeah. black farm laws. No hangama was created. They were passed on a voice vote. Shreya, I want your viewers to understand the three farm laws which you read, uh, taken back by the Honorable Prime Minister, passed in national interest, taken back in national interest. Don't know more as this drove there. Were passed on a voice vote. When the opposition yeah. MPs asked for a division of votes, a fundamental right of MPs, it wasn't given to them. Well, bills they see pass karwari. ED, the draconian uh, changes made in ED have been passed as a finance bill. This government is using parliament as a rubber stamp, and that's very unfortunate to see this happening. But let me ad address one question that both the BJP spokesperson and my dear friend Sriram Ji raised. They said, look, Congress or the opposition should be cleared whether they are misguided youth or, or they are terrorists. I'll answer that question. Mm. So the opposition, the citizens of India and journalists like Shreya don't know because your government, our government, has charged them under UAPA. If they are not terrorists, why did you charge them under UAPA? The fact that you've charged them under UAPA, if Rahul Gandhi is running the question, believe you me, sir, I speak for Shreya, she will ask questions of Rahul Gandhi. I will ask questions of Rahul Gandhi. He's not running the government. If uh, Mamta Banerjee or Akhilesh Yadavji are running the country, we'll ask questions of them. The government is being run and the country is being run by the two strongest men in the universe. 
Modi ji and Amit Shah ji. Now, L K Advani ji made a statement on the floor of the house on 13 December 2001. We have Kirti Azad sir here with us. Then in BJP, ask him if it's a fact or no. Shreya, you've covered Parliament. Hmm. Was Advani ji also tampering evidence hmm. or investigation? Sir, ye sab chhod dijiye. You are asking the opposition. The most honourable speaker, Om Birla ji, I quote him, said, "When this incident happened, it's a small incident. Let's continue." He said, "It's a small incident." Was Om Birla ji tampering Parliament? What are you talking? But the kuch bhi ho raha hai, you want to put blame on Modi ji? Sir, Om Birla ji, I'm putting Parliament. What are you talking? But the kuch bhi ho raha hai, you want to put blame on opposition? There is a terror attack on our Parliament as per the government of India. Therefore, you charge those of threat of UAPA. A terror attack on the Parliament of India. Should the Home Minister of India give a statement to the country via Parliament? Yes or no? That's the question. Everything else is around sound. Answer that question. Can I give Pradeep Mahor exactly ten seconds to answer that question? I know what you're going to say, but I'm going to give you ten seconds, Mr. Mahor, to answer that question. Should the Home Minister Look, slash the, the Prime Minister come to the floor of the House and answer the question? Very simple answer. Nobody is saying that Home Minister, not Prime Minister. Technically, Home Minister should be addressing it, right? First of all, this needs to be corrected. Hmm. And nobody is saying that he is not going to come. He Who will be coming. Who is the head of Parliament? Look, wait, 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 wait. Last in last session, in same kind of a thing was happening where opposition was continuously shouting and saying that you know they want Prime Minister to address the Parliament. And when Prime Minister entered the Parliament and he was addressing the way they walked out, it showed the kind of you know uh, the, the seriousness these people have. And same thing they are showing right now. Standing so is on that the why podium, the Prime Minister is not coming? Is that why the Prime Minister is not coming? That he no, wants no, no, to no, come, no, no, no. but he is no, no, no. he is afraid that the opposition no, 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 might no, no, stage a no, walkout. No, no, come no, no, on, no. Mr. Mahor, I that's no saying, logic. I am no, 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 no. Don't change the words. I am saying this is the kind of seriousness. Huh. The opposition has. I mean, this is the kind of you know behavior they are showing towards the temple of democracy. Just standing on the podium, can it be allowed? Tell me, Shreya, should it be allowed? Should Mr. Azad, you tell me. As someone market? who's been an ex MP, I've never, Anybody I've never been anything? an MP. Huh. Miss. <laughs> so okay. let's ask Mr. Azad, I'll give you the last word. My question is, the BJP spokesperson here is saying, is this tolerable that members of parliament go stand on podiums, that members of parliament disrupt uh, proceedings of the house, members of parliament, uh, of parliament shout slogans, how long can the speaker tolerate it and what option is that you are calling it silencing of democracy? This actually is disciplining errant members. Well, uh, this is what was happening uh, when uh, Arun Jaitley was the uh, leader of the opposition in Raj Sabha and Sushma Saraj was in the Lok Sabha. And I was a member at that time. People were standing huh. on benches, their placards were being shown, slogans were being shouted. And for months, you remember 2G, uh, 2G Colgate, and nothing happened. Everybody was exonerated. And my question is, for whatever the BJP says, if the Honorable Home Minister has invoked UAPA, a terrorist act against these people, then he has to come to the parliament, assure the people of the country and the house that don't worry, we are looking okay. into the matter and we shall see to it. The conspiracy, if any, is there, we shall bring it to the parliament. All right, Mr. Azad, we leave it there for the moment. Thank you very much. It's been quite a day in Parliament today. Tessin Poonawala, thank you very much. JVC Sriram, good to have you on the show. Uh, Mr. Khadiyal, thank you very much for your time. And Pradeep Mahor, thank you very much as well. As I said, a record-breaking day in Parliament. 78 MBs suspended in one day. If you add 14 to it, and 14 were suspended on 14th of December as well, the number is 92. 92 Member of Parliament, all opposition MPs suspended in the winter session, one single session, a record. For the moment, I'm slipping into a quick break on the show. There's more on the other side. Do stay with us.